What is up, Sneeples? This is a, yet again, a way too early tier list where we are ranking heroes before the set is even out. Uh, we have seen the cards. We know what is coming. Uh, but truly, do we really know? Because infamously, uh, me and Charles Dunn, which is a good player, uh, said Zen was not good. So that just tells you how much knowledge we really got going into this. But today, I don't have Charles Dunn. I got instead another guest of mine, a friend and teammate. He is a, uh, has a YouTube channel. He is well known amongst the top eight and he has just won first in the battle heart in san diego i got mr majin bay and he sounds great <laughs> <laughs> that's my little uh, you know fiasco intro um yeah so let's uh let's rank some heroes how, how, how about it sounds good sounds right. good cool i i don't have a mini particular order so if yeah. there is one that just jumps out and we want to talk about mm -hmm. just just interrupt me go for it uh, I do have an order. I, I take that back. I have an alphabetical. Actually, no. They just. Sh all right. Well. All right. No, they're just. They're just there. They're bro. just they're, random. They're all yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's start with Arachne. <laughs> what a start. The um, bottom row is in order, in release order. Oh, it is. Interesting. Now, nah, well, anyways. Uh, all right. I'll 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 start this off just to show sure. that it's okay to to say mean things. Um, okay. I don't think Arachne is going to be, um, even if this is a slower meta, I don't think Arachne is going to be really quite playable. The only person I could ever see having any sort of success with Arachne is Tao Tao, uh, which he's back. You know, he, he should could... just play something else though. Like, but yeah, he was playing Azuri in uh, Battle Harden, so I think just better. Yeah, which is just better. So I, I think I can safely put Arachne in D tier. What say you? Yeah, I think that's going to be a theme is like most of the heroes that are absolutely don't play is just because there's something that's like does the same thing but better. Yeah, that's truly the case. That's truly the case. And like Arachne specialization isn't going to put them anywhere higher. No. Uh, speaking of D tier heroes, <laughs> it wasn't oh, looking yeah. good for our boy in the first place. No. And then he just, just lost. He, I would almost say Arachne's better. <laughs> I would rather play Arachne than Fi at the event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the times are in right shot. now. We uh, have now we have Fi and it's a lightning girl, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that actually feels like Fi, so. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Alright. I am gonna let you lead off on one, but I wanna lead off on this next one because uh, I you know I'm not the person to talk about this. Hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Uh Riptide. Okay, so I was pretty close to playing Riptide at the Battle Harness San Diego. I think last meta was the closest meta that he got to being uh, a very viable hero. Um, I would have had him in the B plus A minus uh, area of last meta. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it. And the only thing that I'm worried about is the only thing I ever was worried about, which is Kano. Um, I don't know if Verdance is going to be so much of a wizard. Have to worry about her so much, and Asilio, I feel like, is going to attack, which that's what Riptide wants. So I'm kind of still leaning towards the A minus area. Yeah, I think for me, it all depends on like, I've heard that Riptide is quite solid into Enigma. I don't know how true that is, but like, that's what people have told me. Um, and I think like, that's probably something we're going to harp on continuously throughout this video is like, how do you perform into Enigma? Uh huh. <laughs> uh, who is likely going to be. Not in D tier. <laughs> no, no. She's. You, you know, we'll get to her next. How about that? I? I cannot put Riptide in always in top eight tier. Be okay. lucky, sure. Okay. Absolutely. I don't think he has to be down. It could spike. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I would not be surprised to see a Riptide hit a top eight, but I would never expect there to be one. Okay. Kind of that is fair. That is fair. I want this to be cutthroat. I like that. Uh, too too often am I too soft with these heroes? So this is good. Uh, I will put him at B plus at least. I will okay. keep him here. So don't worry, Riptide mates. Uh, we're just gonna put this guy here and not talk about it too much uh, because he suffered the same fate as Vi, but even worse. Um, yeah, probably. It's it's rough out there. Like yeah. now he's he was a worse Zen before because the Zen was a better Katsu. Yeah. But now like 
being a katsu isn't even a thing you can do anymore. <laughs> yeah, on top of that, I just realized I, I, I forgot about this hero, but we are going to get an Ira. And that's yeah. just like another ninja that is just going to be a better, like, even if you went, oh, but I can still be defensive katsu. Well, now Ira's coming out and like, that's where you're going to go. Yep. Uh, yeah, CNC for for seven. Get used to hearing that. Kadachi for one, CNC for seven. <laughs> seems good. Seems not bad. It's very good. Uh, okay, we were talking about Enigma. Let's get to her because I think you're absolutely right. I think she is going to be sort of like the meta-defining deck. Yeah. So um, I'm going to let you lead off on this one. I can't – I'll just say – I guess I'm leading off. But anyways, I'll just say like I don't see her anywhere lower than this. But – yeah. Let me no, I mean, I think she's. I think Enigma is the current litmus test. Okay. Uh, of All the right. format, and I can't. I would put her in super good. Like every single time I look at a deck list, my first thought is, can this beat Enigma? Mm. And then when you're talking about other things that might be good in the format, you're talking about how they might be good because they have game into Enigma. Like, it's currently we haven't. You know, we don't have Pro Quest season, so we don't see. But like, before everything actually gets into our hands, that is like the perception that players have. Is that oh, the format yeah. is going to revolve around Enigma? Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, Zen was the only thing really holding her back. Yes. Yeah. So she's a little bit unleashed now. Um, I think that's going to hurt New. We'll get to her later. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to hurt a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hurt a lot of people. Uh, but if we get to any. Like, if Enigma was in the heavy hitters meta, I don't even think. W- we talk about anyone else but her. And if we get anywhere yeah. close to that meta, uh, it could get there. So Absolutely. there is a few heroes, I think, that could challenge her. But Azuri, Azuri just won Pro Tour. Yeah. Uh, Azuri does have to look at Enigma and cry a little bit. Mm. Historically great against Wizards. <laughs> yeah. So much so that Pro Tour champion played zero copies of Arcane Barrier in his 80 because the matchup is so bad. <laughs> That's so true. And now that we got two more wizards. We got more wizards. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like a B, B plus range for her. Uh, Maybe yeah. just a solid B. I'm not even sure. What do you think? Could be B. It really depends on where the meta goes. Because, like, if things like Aurora, KO, Azalea are, like, really picking up steam, mm. um, yeah. even some other aggro decks, right, like Runeblades, uh, then Azuri's really quite good. Yeah, she has playing to those, yeah. Yeah, but if, like, Enigma, uh, the Wizards are good, like, it's so bad for her. That's, she's really, yeah. really polarizing, so she can't be an A, because mm-hmm. for me, she's just too polarizing. That's fair. I think that's definitely fair. I would start her off with either bottom of Be Lucky or top of Could Spike. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's put our first C here. We can move things around as we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll move things around if we need to, yeah. yeah. No, I like that. I like that. All right. Um, okay, so next up, we have Azalea. Azalea. Um, I mean, truly, I think I think she's a, a solid A. Um, yeah, I mean, I think at least A. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, her, her bad matchup was kind of Zen, even though she did have play into Zen, but just Zen was that good. Um, I don't think Awara is going to be on that level of Zen. No. And, and she's just not as like um she's not quite as explosive right so like if azalea stumbles for a turn she doesn't just die <laughs> yeah exactly right yeah if you don't get a red and ledger in one turn you could still you know survive be right. yeah uh yeah i i don't think she's gonna go anywhere honestly i think uh she's gonna be here and be quite happy and Brody will get some sort of uh win with her uh that's a strong strong bet yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty high. I'm pretty high on Azalea. I think yeah. we might even end up bumping her into like the bottom of S by the end of the You video. know what? I wouldn't be surprised. It's just it's so hard to see like where her downfall is. Like yeah, yeah. If because I don't know. Maybe if Guardians come around, but I don't think, yeah. Anyways, okay. Uh, Dash is LL, so that's cool. So I think she's what like two points away or something like that. Something crazy. I don't know. I'll look it up right now. Yeah. I, I, you said Dash is LL, and I was like, wait, really? <laughs> I mean, basically, I think the first week of ProQuest is going to be the last be chance. Uh, you start yapping about her, and I'll, okay. I'll look it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I would say if you're a Dash IE main, play her the first week. Which is, what's 910? 910. She's got some room. 
Surely the second week. <laughs> we have to take her into consideration. She okay. only got 100 for Miss Fail Season. Okay, okay, all okay. right. Well, in that case, <laughs> this is the only one I didn't think of, because I thought she was like 10, I thought she was like two points away. Uh, I don't know, she is one of those heroes that just gets there sometimes. Maybe she does. Be lucky, it's fine. Every time I start saying that she's bad, she wins a calling somewhere yeah, in like, she's just, Asia. It's like solid, yeah. I think B. Yeah. I don't think she's always in top A tier. She's fine. Um, she tends to like kind of, there's something that's kind of close to like a solved meta and then Dash comes in, spikes a tournament and then everyone remembers her and she never wins again for the rest of the season. That's like usually how it goes. Yeah, it's a, it's like, and it's a new name for the Dash deck and yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, our boy's up. I'm gonna the let boy. you lead okay. on this one. All right. So we lost our books. <laughs> we did lose some books. We lost our books. Yeah. We gained a lot. In we, we certainly, we even got a gym. We even got a second gym. I cannot believe we get to play two Fables in Kano. It's so sick. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people. I think the vast majority of Kano players are super dooming. I would agree with that. I am not super dooming. I think Kano is totally fine. I think he actually, in this like season, might end up being better than fine. However, okay, the matchups that you lose, the like one of the matchups that you lost a lot of points in, is Enigma. Yeah, yeah, because you need to mini stack with your tomes to be able to like get enough to push through, uh, and without stack. that, it's going to be more difficult. Mm -hmm. So, if there's other matchups that you want to pitch stack, like before, you're probably just going to pitch stack Earth Heroes as well. Yeah. Um, but we're not certain how good pitch stacking will be. Especially because if they want to beat pitch stacking, now they just can. Right? You just run like three copies of Oasis or like two copies of Oasis and some seeds of tomorrow. And like you just beat pitch stacking Kano. Yeah. Um, if you have both of the, like, yeah. If you have yeah. two copies and it's, you can't beat it. Yep. And so the only reason I was stacking in the first place was because I don't like to lose to Oasis Respite. So now I'm just going to play tempo because I give them less chance to find Oasis respite yes, <laughs> um, and things like that. So I think Kano's going to be pretty solid, but no one's going to play him. Okay. Okay. I get you. That's my take. There's new wizards out. People are really down on it. People true. hate playing decks that get nerfed. True. Um, That's very true. I would put him in like be lucky, possibly even could spike tier. But okay. I think after a few months, people's tone will change a little bit. I agree. I think it just takes a few Kano appearances in top eight for yeah. people to realize, oh, maybe he's not so oh, bad. Yep. Maybe it's okay. Well, I'm going to put him here. I don't care yeah. what you say. I, We're both I, Kano I, players, bro. You got to put him in B. Like, yeah. I My bold prediction, which is this is the perfect time to make them, is that Kano will LL this meta, I think, this season. Uh, either not through just the pro quests and whatnot, but some other events, he'll, he'll get something. Um, and he is not long for the world of CC. That's my bold prediction. I think Kano LLs within the next six months. I think that's fair. I think that's totally he fair. He still needs like 360 something points to LL. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to start slow, but like you said, like once people start like top aiding things and like winning pro quests with Kano. And everyone's like, wait, he's still good? Um, I think he's going to pop up. I think people are going to skimp on their AB. There's a lot. like, So in the last meta, there's only so much you can do about Zen. And so it didn't really like hamper your sideboard slots. But in this meta, you need to play a lot of cards that like give you game into Enigma, give you game into like the Rune Blades, give you game into Azaleas, right? And that's like a lot of things that you have sideboard slots for. And people are going to go down on things like Oasis Respite, Oasis Respite Spell Void. They might only play AB2 instead of like AB3 Spell Void 1 or whatever, right? And I think Kano's gonna be like, <laughs> just eating good a lot uh -huh. of times. Yeah, if we can get rid of the Spell Void equipment, fine. You can have your Oasis, just get rid I of that care. Spell Void yeah. equipment. <laughs> yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I want. Uh, that's that's actually, that's a bold take, just because the the um, meta that we get two new wizards is the meta that we... Well, I get your, your logic's there, by the way. Yeah. It's just, Asilio, it's funny. Spoiler, is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, he's not good. Let's and Verdance, yeah. you don't care about AB 
or Verdant. Like, the, max right. you play three, you, you definitely don't play Spellvoid. No, yeah, a hundred percent. That's actually a very good point. Yeah, you really yeah. wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, I've been let's... doing a lot of thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because me and you have been on the same boat. We've been we've been messing around with some new heroes. We've been trying some new stuff, but there is a very real chance that we both just play Kano. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we mentioned Asilio. I kind of want to leave the Rosetta heroes for last. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I do have things that. I want to say about him. But, okay, spoiler, cool. He Let's won't be that. the top tier. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Sir Bolton here. Uh, could spike is where I'm feeling. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. He's not in don't play tier, but he's like... Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's so... not in like don't play tier, but he's not in don't play based on like almost a technicality. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. right. Me. Like, he is I'm, different enough than the other warriors that you could justify. Yeah. They are different decks. I'm just like not a Bolton truther. Never have been. Yeah, um, only the deck does fundamentally <laughs> underpowered things, and I don't want to be in that spot. What are you talking about? You literally just described Kano. Yeah, <laughs> except I do something way more powerful <laughs> at the end. I was actually gonna put in that caveat. I was like, like Kano, except I have Storm Striders <laughs> right. and I do a hundred fucking damage. <laughs> true, true. Uh, okay, another warrior, Dorinthia. Uh, I, you know, I honestly, this feels like a uh, hatchet sort of Dorinthia meta might be coming. I don't know, just because of Enigma. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I really don't know where to put her. Uh, C or B. I, I'm not putting her in A. No, um, I don't feel comfortable with that either. I think, like, historically, Warriors have done very poorly into both the Wizards and Grimblades because True. they're just a good That's class a good and Warriors not. <laughs> yeah. So this is the uh, Warrior Assassin uh, tier, yeah, it seems like. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Okay, good. Oh, I. Whew, this is an interesting one, though. This one, I'm high on. All right? Yeah. I am high on this one. You know, I think that it is it is Vincent's time finally. I think Vincent mm -hmm. is finally gotten the pieces that she's needed to make an impact on the meta. I think she has uh, the her ability on her own can help disrupt Ward, which I think will have play into Enigma. She's great, yeah, yeah. Um, I think she can have she has the card pool to not like fold to aggro my bold claim is i think she can be a tier i i think she has the potential to be but like i haven't sat down across the deck and played with it a bunch yeah um so i can't really weigh in as much but if you want to put her in a tier you can go ahead and put her in a tier it does say always in top eight you think she's that good you think you always expect one copy of Vincent in every top eight see the problem is is that i feel like this goes with shadow heroes because we're getting to Leviathan next Shadow heroes yeah. always feel like they're A tier, the beginning of the meta. Yes. And then they go down to B and even C tier by the end. Uh, so I put her in B lucky to start with, but like it feels weird to have her at the same spot as Kano. I which think like, yeah, if she's in B lucky, I have her right here with Kano. I yeah. really do. I think everyone else is gonna put Kano like deep into C. Oh, I know. They really think he knows that. Even our boy, our you know Peter, is just so down on him. Like he's fine, he's fine. Right. And I keep telling people, I was like, I didn't need tomes to kill people before. Like sometimes it kind of got in the way, weirdly enough. Yeah, it's like a red block too. It's really awkward sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you like go out of your way to cast Tome of Fendal and you draw double red and you're just like down two resources. Exactly. You're just yeah. like cool. Yeah. yeah. Like. You have to play the deck differently. Sorry, we're probably going to talk about Kano three times in this time. <laughs> Like, you have to play the deck differently, and you do lose power. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about that, or with anybody about that, but, like, how many times did you play a game where you, like, hit a random red tome off the top, and that's why you won the game? Like, it happens. It happens, but it's so, so, like, yeah. few. Like, if you're, if you're needing a red tome, you're in a spot where you're like already super, super down. And sometimes yeah. you get Kano lucky and that and that's where red tones shine the brightest. Um, but like, it never feels good to just play it using your action point, you know? It's just like, okay, now I get to blind Kano if I draw two blues and like, that's, yeah. that's pretty Now shitty. I try to hit an energy potion off the top, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's, it's something, but it's like, yeah. yeah. 
I don't even know how we got to talking about Tomes, but I'm I'm for it. Um, I'm just gonna keep talking about it. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, the Vi got an upgrade. The Vi did get an upgrade, but she also got a downgrade because she did lose Art of War. That's true. She did lose Art of War. She's yeah. like. Levia always gets an upgrade, and like you said about Shadow Heroes, everyone's like, this is the time, everyone's and like, then... Nah, I didn't. <laughs> but I, like, I honestly think Levia is really good. I think she's, like, a top three hardest deck in the game to play. At a high I'd level. agree with that, 100%. And I that. think if Mansant wasn't doing content all the time, you would see Levia so much more. Sure, sure. That'd be interesting. That's a good take. I like that take. That's interesting. Um, I do think this is, like... To me, she kind of yeah. B I think tier. she's a B for sure. Um, she kind of reminds me of like old Icelander, where it's like if you're good with Levia, you'll show it, and you'll yeah. and your opponent will feel it. But if you're not good with Levia, it's just gonna be a train wreck. Yeah, and it also like it has the Kano thing where the deck just like kills itself sometimes. Definitely can, yeah. But you don't have the the same amount of power that Kano brings, like. Yeah. Kano kills his opponent on accident about as often as it kills you on accident. That's, that's yeah, yeah. And I feel like Levia is not that way. Yeah, you. I, I also feel like it's pretty. It's get known pretty early when Levi kills herself. Uh, actually, yeah. I, or if it's just you random ass blood death, which like mm -hmm. that's just that brute variance that it's I'm not cool. about. <laughs> I do like her in B. Yeah, I think B is good. Uh, another brute we have guy. is Don't Reinar. Uh, yeah. I want to put him in C. I want to. I think he is the highest D. Okay. Um, He's almost C, but that man, dude, I'm I'm like the biggest Reinar hater on the planet. I think really? that dude sucks in every <laughs> format. I think he's always he just LL in Blitz. <laughs> He's terrible in Blitz, bro. There's so the every fuck? single other good deck had to LL first. <laughs> Like all the others. And he's been around forever, literally since day one. I and know. he finally LL'd. I know. Well, to be fair, he's the only one out of those original heroes that has done anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, every time I played against Reinar and Blitz, they're like, oh my god, but the damage potential. And you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> like, fucking kill you, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, that's for sure. I'm a hater. That's I'm fair. I think in CC, he's even worse. You know what right, like, is going to be interesting is that Reinar's mm -hmm. have already begun going, especially when KO came out, begun going more mid range and even controlly. Um, when KO LLs, I think that's the only way you can play Reinar. So his I, damage potential is just like not there. It's not. So I do think like everyone that's in D rank is expansion slot cards away. Basically, they need expansion slot cards. They need to help. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so Reiner is definitely one of those guys. I think Reiner players would agree, though, honestly. I think so, too. I mean, the thing with Reiner is, like, his... Reiner is on rate. Yeah. And his, like, hero... Pa if you do not care about, like, being defensive, then he's textless. He's, like, throwing raging onslaughts at you. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, sometimes not even that. Um... And, you know, outside of Blood Rush Bell turns, like, that's that's basically all he does. And so yeah. a hero like Aurora or any other aggressive hero, even, like, um, Rhino's, like, supposed to be a pretty bad matchup for Kano, and it's not great, but it's, like, really not that bad. And it's because a lot of times you just don't have to block. Um, and, like, that should be his best matchup. Right. It's just... He just doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah, that's why it's, like, it, you can't race with Reinar because you'll just lose yeah. that race every time. So you do have to play a mid-range control style deck with him. And then at that point, I mean, yeah. just a Boris he's, Guardian. He's like, he would be in C, except that like KO exists and really? you should just play that. Right. Which, to be fair, we did say it right off the bat that that's what There's D. something better. Yeah. Go in D. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if it wasn't for KO, he would be in C. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can give him that. We can give him that. Um... This guy I actually talked about this weekend. How do you feel about this guy? Yeah, so it's so weird because you look at his specialization cards and they're broken. Yeah. But he, his ability is non-existent because everyone yeah. has a fridge now. So mm -hmm. Reiner, or uh, sorry, Reiner, uh, Bravo has is starting to become textless in himself. I don't think he's anywhere near here. Oh no. I. We're siding between D and C here. That's really where we're at. 
Um, it feels so weird to say he needs another specialization, but I kind of believe that, to be honest with you. So yeah. my take is honestly a D. No, I agree. I okay. think, like, also, if we end up going into, like, uh, even, like, an Azalea Enigma format, which is what we have up top, like, he's going to suffer. Um, Isn't that weird? That, like, because, I mean, it kind of makes sense with Enigma, but, like, he should kill Azaleas. He should. He should. I mean, he he, ideally, he should kill all of these heroes except for Kano. Yeah, he just kind of doesn't do that. He just kind of doesn't. Um, and, like, again, if you can play something better, you go in D. And Victor draws cards. <laughs> That's true. That's really Golden true. Golden Sun's really good. Like, all the, the, the gold drawing card is, like, so powerful. Uh, yeah. He gets to be, like, more defensive and more aggressive at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which is weird. Even, like, I, bro, I'd almost rather play Betsy. Okay, because Betsy looks fun. <laughs> Yeah, right? like, and her new that's... specialization is really good. Yeah, yeah, like I think she looks fun. I'd put her in C. I don't think she's. I really think she good, has like... explosive potential. Just because, yeah. like, if she comes in in a tournament, are you really gonna know how to play against her? This would probably be your first time to play against her. You probably have a good idea, you know, if you're a good mm -hmm. player. But I could see her cheesing some wins. You can cheese some wins. She's she probably should still be in don't play, but. <laughs> It's kind of more fun to put her in C. It's kind of I think more like fun. yeah. The only argument for like Bravo and Betsy being in C is mm -hmm. like you could play the full fatigue variation. That's true. But That's true. You could play just like Rampart Shield and then just kind of mm -hmm. you know turtle up. But you aren't being Enigma. <laughs> that is true. And you ain't yeah, beating you aren't Kano beating still. <laughs> and you're not beating the Earth heroes. So That's true. And you're yeah. still not beating Kano. Yeah. Yeah, because they're just gonna do that better than you. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. I think this is fun. I'm okay with this. Yes, yeah. this is it's like an asterisk. This is more the reality, I think. Well, yeah, probably actually even that, but yeah. we'll keep it. Anyway, sure, why not? Uh, all right, Max. I think Max is a B hero personally. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. um, I have a heart. Okay, when I was playing Enigma, and our teammate Austin, when he's playing Enigma, uh, we struggle into this hero. Yeah, yeah, because like this hero, if given time, will become you know the the mech he will get his mech suit and then it's at that point it's really just over um i think you know i think once dash is gone he's the main uh i mean a lot of people okay dash io did just get like this su super sweet armory uh, kit that's gonna come in with these uh, but if she didn't get that like i think max was, was gonna be fine uh yeah so that's where i like him how about you i okay so i've played kano for the last like I don't know, a year and a half. Yeah. Um, so it's hard for me to evaluate Max because to me, he's just shittier Dash. For like all in t for all intents and purposes, for me, like mm. just against Kano, he's just yeah. worse Dash. He's just worse Dash. I mean, that's fair, because, 100%. But so I don't know how much better his actual game plan is. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't get, I don't see it. I don't play against it. So I really can't like Give talk it, about that's it. That's fair. That's totally fair. I mean, I think... He was seeing some success he in was last format. Some success, yeah. Um, I think he won a battle heart even. Yeah, I think he he did something. Some uh, he yeah, makes yeah. action points. He's aggressive, so he's not bad into like Enigma. Not that bad into Enigma, right? Yeah. Um, he has like uh, a strong late game strategy that's very powerful. Yeah. Like I could totally see him doing well. I think if I think his success is based on Aurora. I really feel that. So if Aurora, okay. if Aurora's too good, he won't be good. Kind I of think that's why like Zen held him down, basically. Sure. So, uh, but I don't know if you have to be Zen to hold him down. So you might be fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we get to a, that's a, a anti Kano hero, a hero mm -hmm. that will beat Kano even now, even without the Tome of Divinity, she will easily beat Kano. Um, yep. But can she beat everyone else without the Tome of Divinity? Is a real question. And I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I think she becomes like a C tier hero where she was like. Almost she was like, up there. Yeah. She was she up was there. Like I think she was like an A tier hero. Yeah. Um, I, I think she can get fatigued. Yeah. I mean, if we look at like what's kind of like, what are people going to be playing? I think immediately people are going to be playing Enigma. I think they're going to be playing Azalea. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be playing probably some Vincent. I think they're going to be playing Victor because people like Guardian for some yeah. reason. Yeah. Uh, and the Earth heroes and stuff. Earth and she'll probably have some game into the Earth heroes. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I think she's going to start losing to Victor. Um, especially the second she's a player in the metagame, 
decks that have like poppers and defensive abilities are just going to start to run her over if they want to. True. You True. throw in time skippers. Right. And a couple extra seven poppers, and she's not going to beat you. Um, I also I mean, people think KO is like, going to come back. I think KO is going to come back. And uh, people were telling me, like, I've played Prism v. KO probably actually like 50 times, which people probably didn't know that. But I put a lot of work into Prism. You did, yeah. During Heavy Hitters meta. And um, I didn't love the, Pr the Prism KO matchup. And then every, dude, because, you know, uh, Illusionist Copers are kind of like Kano Copers. Yeah. It's like every matchup's actually good. You just got to play my list and you got to play it like I do, right? Mm. And so they're all like, oh, bro, KO's actually like favorite. Don't worry about it, bro. Uh, it, and, you know, <laughs> uh, and now that they lost tome like that was kind of how you did it yeah yeah you got to cheat and yeah and i think cheat. i think kale's gonna blow them up and now they have sash yeah yeah now they have sash where they didn't before so now they're even feeling fine um mm -hmm. yeah and then yeah if if it's set gets better if leviah gets better like i know honestly you, the earth heroes you said that she has game to but I could see him running because it's Earth, just running, you know, a lot of uh, seven and six attacks, and that just fits in perfect. It could be. Plus, yeah. like the Earth heroes right now are gonna run six copies of Summer's Fall. Yeah, um, yeah, that's so, so if you're true. You're like, oh, I'll set up my Genesis. They're like, haha. <laughs> right. Attack you, decompose. Put that on the bottom, please. Dude, yeah. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. I don't want to be a prison player. I think Could Spike is still fine. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna put her in. Don't play. Yeah. I hope people don't play her because. You know, <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Right. This is part of my prediction of why Kano is going to uh, LL set because Prism players are going to go down. Uh, okay. I like that. That's a good assessment. I mean, she is still Prism. That's why I think she could spike. She could spike. Yeah. She could run to her good matchups and stuff. Yeah. She could hit things. She a could good loop Prism people. player knows how to you know make a bad matchup feel good. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Fists or Rye? Our I'm pretty low fist. on this. I know, and it's yeah. sad, right? Like I, I was a Viscerai gamer. I know. I don't know you if know he's don't play territory. No, he's, he's C. Yeah. He's not in B. He's, he's not good enough to be in no. B. Bro, he's getting. I have it on good authority. He's out here getting fatigued by Enigmas like constantly. Oh yeah, that's not good. Warmongers is back in the meta in a big way. True. Because all these Which Earth heroes and Enigma so all get to run it for free. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and then the thing was, it was already getting played, so people already have their copies anyway, so... Yeah, no, it's going to be even more popular. It hurts him, mm. right? I just don't think, like... I just don't think he quite does it. No, I don't think so either. He's also kind of suffering a little bit of the don't play status, where there, I think there is a better Runeblade if you're going to go Runeblade. Yeah. In fact, there, I think, I think there might two. be two better. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three. There might even be three, yeah. actually. Yeah. Which, you know what? All right. Little mini gripe here. LSS just came out with a Runeblade video that had Viscerai, Aurora, and Flory on it. But where the hell was Vincent? Uh, it was too complicated for a five minute intro. Video, <laughs> That's probably. probably true. <laughs> That's the actual answer, I believe. But yeah, I'm making that up. But it sounds more That's feasible so than they forgot about it. <laughs> Uh, all right. Sorry, Viz. Yeah, yeah, he's just like, uh, Viscerai is like a mob sky's hero. Yeah, he, he and really if you want to, way. yeah, and the other way to play him is like the pure OTK version, and there's going to be a better one if you want to do that. I agree with that second. too. I agree with that too. Um, so it's like people who are blocking well don't care about you because they block out your mob skies. Mm -hmm. Azalea just says no, you cannot actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then Warmongers is brutal. Like, also it just kind of all up. adds up to where you're playing this, right? And you're just like, man, this is not it. I think Hamish was even, like, down. He's a Viscerite Trooper. I was talking to him this morning, and that's okay. what he told me. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was like, bro, I'm out here getting fatigued by Enigmas, and it feels like shit. Yeah. So, you know, if, if, if a Viscerite head is saying it's not good, it's a good thing to listen to. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Teclo? Yeah. <sighs> this ain't his format. I mean, I'd probably play it over it's ninjas. Pretty, yeah. yeah, I last format I would have him in C. <laughs> now he's in D. <laughs> I think like there was an outside, like very bottom of C. I'm talking yeah, like, yeah, yeah. one foot in B. Like but now he's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now he's solidly don't play here. Yeah, I don't even know what 
meta has to look like for him to be a... I mean, he keeps getting new cards. <laughs> yeah, it's got to go back to like a heavy hitters-esque meta, but like where people aren't playing Kano. All right, so when Kano LLs and when the meta slows down again, which by the way, Maybe. I don't know if people really like that. I know Guardians like that. I know I liked it because they got me into Kano, but past that, I don't know if we're gonna get back to that sort of meta anytime soon. Uh, and because of that, our next hero, I don't think it's gonna be fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna put her in D by any means. No, she's a good spike for me. Yeah, I would feel she's probably right there with. Uh, I think she she might be top of C. Yeah, I mean, like kind of high C. Colin Erickson, that's the Kasai player, and he was even playing her into Zen and had a success. So I wonder how yeah. she, she does into it, Nikwa, because that's the question, right? Not great. Yeah. Well, that's not the great case. into Enigma. Not great into Azalea. Yeah. Uh, because you don't present quite enough damage to actually threaten her, and she just leaks through. Like she you just does. can't. She definitely does. Do enough. Kano's um, a bad matchup. Kano's a bad matchup. I think Rune Blades are likely going to be a bad matchup. Yeah. I'm starting to see this. Yeah. yeah it's, it is starting to look a little rough. Mm -hmm. She's like pretty powerful, but mm, I don't All think right. this is her time. All right, if you're calling Erickson out, you can be in B tier, but if you're yeah, not, that's yeah. about it. Everyone <laughs> else, put her down there. I think I think this next hero is going to be like the reason you would consider playing Kazai. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I like him here. I'm just gonna put yeah. that, say that right here, right now. I mm -hmm. I think I think he's back. I, you know, oh, Zin's the boy's gone. back. Yeah, the boy's back. The one-handed man himself. He was being kept down by literally just Zen. Yeah, it was just by he just wasn't fast enough to win that race. Yeah. But he was now, still doing good. Yeah, he was like he actually he was fine. Got some top eights and whatnot. So like, yeah, Kale's back. Uh, I'm I'm curious to see you know like he, the the best thing about Kale now is that he's already fine tuned. Yeah, the deck is done. Yeah, the deck <laughs> is done. So he, he, at this point, he's figured out more people have access to him because of the armory deck, which has gotten so many new players so yeah. and now oh here's the other thing i don't know if you saw this but on twitter this morning i looked and uh Minguchi, the old i did yeah I, did. I gave that tweet a like yeah oh yeah yeah the old magic pro is yeah. out here playing flesh and blood playing ko so surely ko yeah surely ko is gonna be a tier <laughs> I used to watch every single Mangucci video, bro. He was one, one of my favorite pros. legacy video. Yeah. I would watch all yeah. of those. Hippie Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was sad to see him play KO, though. I, right. It, <laughs> but you know what? You got to start somewhere, and that's what those uh, those are about. Um, all right. Let's go with Olympia. Uh, we'll hmm. put him. Yeah, anywhere over there is fine. Yeah. I'm just gonna do. I would probably preferences. rather play him over everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he's still shit. <laughs> uh, Victor. Yeah, Victor. <laughs> uh, where does Victor go? Because I don't actually I, know. I think people are counting the boy out. Okay. Okay. I think people are sitting there and they're like, "Oh, Enigma shits on Victor. <laughs> Ko beats Victor," but like. I'm going to be honest. I think Victor's matchup into Enigma is probably not that bad. I don't think so either. I think... Um, Kano what? can't stack him anymore. I mean, as easily, right? Like, you can just yeah. walk into Oasis. They're not going to play Oasis, but, like... Yeah. Um, and then decks like Vincent, Riptide... Right, yeah. Those are auto wins for him. Those are fine. You're even, super happy with that. Even Dash can be. If they're... If she doesn't bring the item pack, it's yeah. yeah. And even then, it's, like, still fine. You could still right. just, like attack really like one thing victor does really well over the other guardians is that man beats your ass <laughs> like he, he does. doesn't just sit there and block he like he, he does he just be with you yeah. yeah yeah so do we like a rank then i think he's bottom of a and i think I that think might be fair. the hottest take of our tier list it might be but you know what i i fuck with swift it it's it's not too far-fetched honestly yeah. i don't think you should ever have him lower than b because yeah i don't no. think he's out at all he could be all right yeah. Uh, all right. How do you feel about Dash IO? Yeah, I don't know. Everyone's su okay. The people the, are super high. On people her. are like this high on her. Yeah, they're like <laughs> it's Enigma Dash IO, maybe Aurora. That's the that's yeah. the thing. Like, 
I don't know. I'm not that high on her. I, when we were, like, last meta, she was, like, here. I don't yeah. even, like, maybe she's here now. I mean, I don't feel like she's here, to be honest. No, I gotta see. So, like, she's getting some upgrades. Uh, and those upgrades, upgrades are good, but, like, I'm looking at the decks that are in my, like, high meta thing. Um, I think one and this is big for me, is like Dash IR requires incredible play from the pilot. Oh, for sure. Yeah, if we want to talk about hard decks, I mean, that yeah. is one of them. That might be for me like the hard deck. Yeah. Um, and if you're not, especially in like, okay, especially against matchups that like are capable of fatiguing you, looking at Enigma and Victor and stuff right here, mm -hmm. um, you got to be on your shit. Oh, yeah. And if you're not, you're just going to get fatigued. So like with that barrier of entry, like, sure, these aggro decks are just going to kind of, like, run into each other. And Dash IO is usually pretty good at running into aggro decks faster than they run into her. She was actually but, KO's like, worst matchup, I think. So Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I expect her to, like, succeed in this coming format. But, like, I do not expect the format to, like, warp around her at all. And if it ever does, I think she loses her meta share very fast. Yeah, she's... Uh, Mech has always been very techable. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's great how that worked out um but yeah like there's a plenty of item destruction there's plenty of like action point disruption mm -hmm. um yeah i agree i agree maybe her new equipments yeah maybe it could put her here but then then things are shifting everywhere else i think mm -hmm. so yeah uh okay all right this one's kind of big because this one was you know like it was like like at three it was, plus it was like it was in tier 1.5 when there yeah. was only one tier one deck before yes yeah yes um now that this is the s sh this i don't think can be a you know a plus maybe mm -hmm. it can still hold on but i'm not sure i think it drops into b i think it's still a solid b tier i mean it, it would have to be here i think yeah yeah new still like one thing about new that um i think people maybe are overlooking a little bit is that this deck is very adaptable yes that's true. That's true. Or any kind of format. She's not um, super tight into her own, like, Mystic Assassin class. No. There's very few cards you actually, like, have to play. True. True. Um, and so I expect it to be able to, like, tech for specific metas and stuff. However, just, like, Enigma in general is... That's rough for you. Yeah. Like, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, also, what's up with that AB Spell Void set, man? Oh, um, right. What the hell? What did, where did that come from? Like, I didn't think that was needed, but yeah. I see. Did that's, you? That's another level of that Kano. They they saw it coming. Did you know that on the same spell, if you cast Aether Wildfire, they can activate Arcane Barrier and Spell Void on the same equipment on the same spell? For real? Like, that's actually. Yeah, no, that's actually a thing. Oh my gosh. Why is that a thing? Why does that exist? You get to double much, dip? That's so dumb. How much would they. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't even feel right. That feels like it's not. Yeah. How much that's what of I've those been equipments told. would you they do? Might, the three people who told me might be wrong. But well, like, that's fair. But, like, I mean, I don't know. It is weird that it has it. So it, it would make sense that you could do both. But, like... I hate it. Yeah. I hate spell void in general. With Such two of them, out. you get to completely blank <laughs> Wildfire's printed value with a yellow. Like, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, she does have... I don't know if she would. Uh, She's she got to find room for it, which is tough. Yeah, and then, like, her equipment is actually tight. It's really tight. And the other wizards, you care more about blocking than you do arcane barriering. Yeah. So um, it's really just for why, Kano. It's really just for Kano. And it is currently not a Kano meta. Yeah. That's what we're telling you. It's actually just yeah. Kano meta. We're actually yeah. going to kill it. Exile, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yes. uh, okay. Um, here is Zen. This is where he was. Yep. Oh, he was he was having a great time on the other out side here. of that yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah well he was you know he was up here actually he was up there yeah <laughs> yeah um okay he got the the bonds hit okay well yeah, mm -hmm. probably here maybe even still here okay after he got bonds hit like the when he still had three bonds he was still a tears oh yeah 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 with the, oh the, you mean all the bonds yeah 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 the first okay. bonds hit he went from here to here okay the yep. second bonds hit I think he still hangs around A tier, right? Yeah, he's still really strong. Yeah. Then we hit got Art of War hit. And now I'm wondering what a Zen list looks like. 
And now I, I don't think no he's idea. here. I no. think he's here. Like yep. somewhere in between these two. I think... See, the, the problem is, is like, is is it going to be like KO now with Zen? Like, is he just like a worse... Like, is KO can yeah. beat him in a race now? You historically don't want to be playing the second best aggro deck. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that makes me feel like he's not gonna like be able to like have the success he once had. I don't even think like he would have a good time into like racing with or racing Max. Um, he barely did before. Exactly. So like, yeah, I think he is probably the best deck here. But yeah. you know what? He we... still has like chase the tail and stuff. He and mystic cards are really powerful. But... They are. I wouldn't put him Yeah, I, I think C. I'm not going to put him in D. No, yeah, no, no. You, you still, he still can play him. He's not dead. He's not dead. Yeah. He is the best ninja that we currently have out. Uh, yep. And even when Ira comes around, maybe he could still be the best ninja. It'll depend on, you know, how. We'll see who the true Zen guys are. Yeah. <laughs> All the true Zen players will stick with him. Okay. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. We are here at our new heroes. Woo. Okay. The so we're we're starting with lightning to earth. So we have Awara, our lightning hero. Okay. This to me is going to be the new aggro deck. It's not going to be as strong as Zen is. It's going to be a long time since we till we get something like that. I think. Uh, uh -huh. Hopefully we don't ever. Right, right. Uh, but mistakes happen. <laughs> they make it slip through. They it's do. bound to happen again. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Like I want to put her here, but I think I feel safer putting her here. I do feel like she will have an immediate impact. I do feel I think like she she's will. She's going to have the fastest immediate and more like mm -hmm. the largest immediate impact on the meta of all the new heroes. Yeah. Um, I think it's okay to put her at like the bottom of A. A, okay, okay. Because uh, I, I, I want to put her higher. there. Yeah, I don't want to put her at higher either. I would trust Victor over her. You know, I'd even trust K over her. But that's because I know yeah. these guys. I don't necessarily I, know her. You know, I think your roar list is like pretty close to being at its end point already. Yeah, um, I am and kind like, of a king at Dex. No, I'm kidding. If it was, <laughs> if it wasn't for her specialization, I think she'd be in like C tier. That's true. Her spec is actually really good. So uh -oh. nice. But like, she has a very, very powerful specialization. Zero for four dot deck is like proven to be good. <laughs> proven um, to work. And her fridge is nuts. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing is like she's an aggro hero with her fridge, just like Kale now. Um, yeah. She has more on hits, which is, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. And so I do think she's going to be the aggro menace. And I think yeah. if there is someone to tell Enigma to go to sleep, it will be her. It's Aurora. Yeah, yeah I yeah. agree. So I'm uh, excited A lot of for people that. are thinking that Enigma is going to start off very, very strong and then lose market market share, lose <laughs> meta share as we like continue through the meta. And I, I'm on board with that. That, that sounds very reasonable, honestly. Um, yeah, I like her in the I like her in A tier. Yeah, I actually think weirdly enough that she has a better matchup than Kale into Enigma, uh, just because of the slit damage. Oh, I yeah, I mean I would rather be the Enigma in the Enigma B Kale matchup. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think she she could be the savior if you're an Enigma hater. Uh, if you're an Enigma hater, just play Aurora. Easy, done. Yep. Or possibly Vincent, but like even then, I've heard some tales about. How the or the enigmas can make it a lot better than for them. <laughs> yeah, I've heard I've heard that too. Um, yeah, just play Aurora. <laughs> uh, all right, now we get Cilio. to our boy Cilio. All right, so a wizard. We got a wizard, man. We got a yep. lightning wizard. We did uh, get a lightning wizard. Uh, where are you gonna put this lightning wizard? Yeah, I think we both know where this lightning wizard is gonna go. Unfortunately, I do in fact know where this lightning. Okay, wizard okay, is but go. but let me think where I want to put him. Where would okay? He's a new. I hero. think he's number one in the top of don't play. Yes, yes, yes. He's a new hero, so you know yeah. he'll be fun, but you'll lose a lot, and then losing eventually doesn't become fun. But playing him yeah. is fun, I'm sure. I'm gonna bring this man to armories. Okay, that's the perfect. He that's where he thrives. All right, yeah. he loves he's, armories. He's so fun. Yeah. He's so fun. Yeah. But like, you're just so. I mean, I really think the deck was designed with the tomes in mind. 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, and we lost them, which lost a ton of his staying power. Oh my gosh. And he so, had like, tomes. your big. I think oh he's up God. here. I, I really so do. agree. Um, but, like, you just can't abuse the action points as well. You lose a lot of your, like, high combo potential. Uh, and the deck is just so soft to disruption. And since your big Majorly. turn isn't big enough without the tomes, you are, like, you're just crippled by all things right. like C&C &C and Weakest Link and all the earth attacks and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the real problem here is that, like, Enigma is here, which means... Yeah. Weakest Link is a card that is, I mean, it's it's what, like $30 a card right now? I mean, yeah, it's because it does so well into Enigma. It does so well into KO even. Yep. Aurora. Aurora even. So it's like, you already have these heroes that people are already citing in Weakest Link. Dash that, IO. Dash like, IO. It's, literally, it's right. so, such There's a There's so card, many, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. so that is just going to kill Asilio on its own because you don't even need to be like the new type of disruption where you have just like... yeah. Leave the commander. Like, no, you could just run cyborg tech and you would be, you know, you'll get KO or uh, you'll get Asilio on a, you know, a turn where he's like, oh shit, I can't even block this out even if I wanted to. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, he's unfortunately not there. Yeah. It is unfortunate. Uh, okay. That is our lightning hero. So we got quite the, quite the ups yeah, and ends of the spectrum here. Uh -huh. Um, I think these other two are going to kind of stay around each other though. All right, so yeah. let's Close talk with Florian. I like the we're saving Florian's for last. Um, all right, so Florian's an interesting one. Florian is definitely the better room blade over Viscera. I, I do not, like, I look at the heroes in C tier and cannot fathom putting him in C tier. Yeah, he doesn't belong there. He really doesn't. Like, even if he's just going to be a solid deck, I think the lowest he'll ever go is, like, the B minus. Ever. Yeah, yeah. ever. Uh, he, Arkham is just so good right now. I mean, it's yeah. just, it really is. Um, and then he has the potential. He's kind of like a dash deck. You can build him in several different ways too. Yeah. Which I think that's to his strength as well. The real question is, is does he have enough juice to make it to A tier? That is the question. Um, I am not sure. Okay. But I'm curious. Okay. Because when... When we got all the cards and we looked at everything, I said Verdance is a bot. She's not playable. Mm, yes, uh, and yes. was quickly proven wrong. Yes. Um, which yeah, I mean, I still was surprises me. <laughs> when I look at the deck list, I'm like, this is not like good. Um, but it it continues to kind of just like get there a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so my question is, which one of these two do you put put higher? I like that. That's a great question. Okay. Well, I am biased to one, mm -hmm. but truthfully, I have been playing with both, mm -hmm. and I just like Earth right now. <laughs> I mean, Earth has really I, been proving it's working. I think one of them is going to be bottom of A, and one of them is going to be top of B. I think that's right, and... Okay. Which one is it? Which one's it gonna be? All right, hold up. I'm I'll let to... you put either one there. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm thinking with my heart right now. Is the problem. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to really, really, you know, put yeah, this in, yeah. in. Okay. So let's look at this. So let's look at Florian's bad matchups, which I, I mean, maybe KO. You can just outrace, but I think you can just kind maybe. of maybe just big numbers. Yeah, just big numbers. You know. Maybe, maybe Victor. You have good disruption. You get to run CNC, Weakest Link, Plow Under, Belling. Yes, that's so true. Out of zero for fours. Okay. Okay. This is my... my I feel like there's a lot more buzz around Verdance right now. There is. But I think Florian will end up being better than Verdance. Better one. I think the deck building, as funny as it is, because people are like building so many different kinds of Verdants, I think finding the right numbers for Florian is actually much more difficult. Yeah. I think that's fair. Um, because but it, it's easy. I think it'll Rune end up decks are always harder to build. At least for me, at least. Yeah. Just because there is a good But mixture. my God. Have you looked at this man's fridge? Oh, I know. If you want to talk about an oh, absolute shit. fridge. I mean, both yeah. these guys. Like... Imagine having a fridge as a freaking wizard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only thing is, like, if you want to play combo variants, you're playing, like, a zero-block headpiece with basically no text. 
That is true. Um, that is true. Your your arms are way worse than Grasp of the Arc Knight, especially when you consider that you could just play Reaping Blade and Florian if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you do, after you're activated, your blue cards are just like uh, one card. F your your one blue hands is five damage split. Right. You could start running things like Oath of the Arc Knight, and it's on your curve or whatever. Like, yeah. I think. I think where people are being led astray right now in Florian is they're running just too many two blocks, like really trying to do cute things, and they should just I like. I think there's stop a lot of cute that. things going on right now, but I'm gonna be honest. I think there's a lot of cute things going on in Verdans too. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I okay. So here's my take. I do think that right now it's it's gonna be like this, but I do yeah. think it shifts. Okay. I do think later okay. down the meta it shifts, just like how maybe this shifts, right? You know. Sure. Okay. So, like, I do think we will see something like that shift. I think they're so close. I want to put them both here, but then, like, I don't know. It doesn't feel right having that many in a tier. I think, yeah. I think, like, if Enigma, if we expect Enigma to come out being, like, the hot shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the, I don't think Verdance will be higher than Florian. That was where I was at. That's what really made me, like, put Florian above Verdance is, like, this matchup is going to be more obtainable with him than her. Uh, I think, oh, yeah. now that we have it all spread out, okay. I think this looks really good. Yeah. Except yeah. I want okay. to move Azalea and KO to S and keep the other three in A. Okay. All right. So. I think they're going to be that relevant. I do like this a lot. I One thing that we, I, we were mentioning about is because of the presence of Florian, maybe even a little bit of war, we're going to get warmongers like is not leaving well i guess yeah. it she, she's fine then like she, it was already here in the meta she played into a warmonger yeah, yeah and didn't yeah. give a shit like yeah. <laughs> so i guess we're fine uh i actually like it in that way yeah well. i i think yeah. this is i think this is a good order this is cool i like this i think maybe aurora over victor yeah that was the other one i was kind of thinking too yeah mm -hmm. yeah but this looks pretty good i think like we could sit here and finick about with like B and C tier orderings as much as we want to, but I don't right. think it's that. No, it, it doesn't. All right. So if you want to play a super good hero, you have these three. If you want to always, always in top eight, no matter who you mm -hmm. are, uh, play these heroes. Um, and then you got to be lucky with these. And then these are yeah, a lot of the heroes. Uh, those are army heroes. A lot of the B lucky heroes is like. A lot of heroes that require a bit of gem format on their side. Yeah, like, yeah, something has to be going on for him. Mm -hmm. It's just so gonna work out. She was, she was definitely in that be lucky range. Now she's shot up. Now she is well, just because of Zen. Yeah, and now Zen's gone. Was. Definitely what it oh, was. Oh man. Yeah. All yeah. right. I, this is it. This is. I mean, I like and this. I'm excited for this because this is a completely new meta than what the one we just came in from. So we got whole new <laughs> CC games. You know what? I couldn't. I was. I'm so happy we got that. It couldn't be a video without a little little Remy bark. <laughs> little 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 puppy bark. Yeah. She doesn't like the tier list as much. She's a she's a um she's a Bravo stand. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's all right. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for helping me put this together. Yes, of thank you for all those watching. I hope that uh, if you know if you see something that you like it or you don't like, go ahead and comment it doesn't change how I feel about things, but I'll hear you out. <laughs> I will hear your opinion and yeah. not listen, but... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Catch you guys later. Keep on fabbing.